Is there a new method to boost the growth on our Venus fly traps? Well, let's find out. All right, so new treatment to boost the growth on Venus fly traps. Uh, basically, this is kind of like steroids for your Venus fly traps. What it does is that it cures fungus, but in healthy plants, it will increase the growth rate of the leaves as well as the longevity of the leaves, so uh, they will stay on the plant longer. That allows them more time to be photosynthesizing, so it provides more energy for the plant, which also makes it grow better. And also it seems to increase the amount of chlorophyll in the leaves. So overall, once you add this treatment to your plants, they will grow a lot better. So, of course, this is useful if you have a dying plant that you want to save. And I did want to mention that this isn't a substitute for proper care, so if your Venus flytrap is dying because you don't know how to care for it, make sure to check out my previous video all about how to grow Venus flytraps. But, I do know there are some situations where either there's an insect outbreak on your plant, or the insecticide itself may have burned the leaves, uh, there may be some kind of rot, that happened. Uh, in my case, I kept them inside for four years and I gave them short photo period dormancy, but it turns out that is not enough and optimally I would like to keep them around 40 degrees Fahrenheit all winter. So it was a little too hot and I will have the problems that I will show you in this next clip. Okay, so I kind of wanted to speed through this clip really fast because as you can see, it's pretty much just a short video of the Venus fly traps in June. And, you know, it's already been warm for a month, but they still look dormant. There's not really any active growth. And this is pretty much an effect of keeping them inside during dormancy. And a lot of people say it's fine to keep them indoors during the winter because the short photo period will make them go dormant. So basically give them uh, sunlight or artificial light like 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. and they will be dormant. But after doing that for four years, I can tell you that that is not a good method because it eventually starts screwing them up and this is kind of the effect of it. Uh, they start flowering early, they start going dormant in June, so I do believe that it has to be around 40 degrees Fahrenheit all winter for them to get a proper rest. But, like I said, for the past four years, I didn't do that. I experimented with indoor dormancy, so this is the result, and now we're going to have to cure it. Okay, so that's the story with my fly traps, but as you can see, they are a lot better now. So, like I said, overall, if for whatever reason your Venus fly traps aren't growing so well, you can try this method. Alright, so, what is this new treatment? Well, there's a product called Scott's Disease EX. It's available at most hardware stores, or it could be ordered online from, you know, different hardware stores. And basically this is a fungicide. People put this on their lawns if they're having some kind of fungus issue with their grass. I did want to mention that this is not a method that I came up with. This is just a method that I tested out and I see that it has very good results. So if you wanna see the original person's uh, post on the forum who invented this idea, or if you have any questions for them, I will link that down in the description mentioned when we put this on Venus flytraps, the effect is that the leaf growth is boosted. So it's a very useful tool to, you know, boost the growth in our plants. Uh, so a bag like this is about $15, and you don't really use a lot of it. You only need a fourth of a teaspoon per eight fluid ounces of distilled water. So what I do is I make up a whole gallon of it, and basically the ratio that I use is one full tablespoon per gallon of distilled water. You kind of just shake it up and you pretty much water it like you would water a normal Venus flytrap. Make sure all that soil gets nice and soaked. And then this fungicide will cure any rot or fungus you may have, but also boost the growth and it'll start working, you know, a few days after you apply it. So. 
the application for this, like I said, one tablespoon per gallon of water. You want to apply this three times during the growing season. So what I did was I gave mine a treatment in June, then in July, then of course in August. So they've had three treatments of this and you can see uh, their growth is very boosted. So you may now be asking, well, wouldn't the plants look like this after a full growing season anyways? Um, not necessarily. As you can see, uh, the growth like this occurred only about a month after they were doing as poorly as I showed you in that previous video clip. So it was definitely a big boost in growth in a very short amount of time. And now we're just kind of seeing the effects because of course uh, this fungicide makes the leaves stick around a lot longer before they die so it's more noticeable uh, also what I wanted to mention is that I bought a Saracenia from a hardware store and it was doing very poorly it was pretty much a dormant rhizome and all of the foliage was halfway burned off so it was pretty much a dormant rhizome in June and one month later you know about a month and two weeks uh, this is the growth we have on it, so it's almost like, you know, regrowing all of that in about a month and a half. So, very useful treatment if you want to save dying plants, very useful treatment if your plants aren't doing so well and you want to give them a good boost during the next growing season. Uh, also, one thing I wanted to mention is that this is not a fertilizer. I know some people uh, got scared when I started talking about it that, oh, uh, it's gonna burn your plants don't use any fertilizers on carnivorous plants but since this is a fungicide which has the properties of increasing the foliage growth it's completely fine to use on any of your carnivorous plants last thing I did want to mention is that you should probably have a water tray under this because it may be an environmental pollutant that kills invertebrates so if you have a tray underneath that catches the water that pours out of your Venus fly traps, um, it'll help eliminate that. Although uh, it's not that big of a deal, I don't think, because people apply this to their lawn. So I think that is a lot more runoff than just, you know, the small amount that we use to water our containered plants. But I did want to mention it because some people are concerned about that. All right, so I think that's about it for this video new clever technique to boost the foliage growth on your venus fly traps and save dying plants so i will be making more videos in the future so hit the subscribe button down below like i said i have a new uh, dormancy container that i have to make a video about that i think is going to be the best dormancy option for venus fly traps especially for people who live up north uh, and then I'm also going to be making some other videos kind of about, you know, feeding these Venus fly traps artificially. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. You'll be notified when I make a new video.